I regularly hear a rider I know state, so many people tried to kill me today. And that statement always leaves me bemused because either I'm completely oblivious to all the drivers out there attempting to literally knock me off my bike and I'm just lucky to be alive, or I've just got good enough at this so that I've learned to predict and almost completely avoid dangerous situations whilst I'm riding. I'd like to think it's the latter and I'll back that up by the fact I've only really had two incidents of note in the last decade. The first I'm going to show you now and a pre-warning for those easily offended by an F-bomb. If there are any kids around, hit the pause button, block their ears and maybe get grandma to leave the room before hitting play again. Oh, fucking hell fire. What are you doing? Sorry for the swearing. Oh, God, I got that on, on camera. It made me swear. Yep, hit up the backside at a stop sign a few years ago. Very difficult to avoid that one, and lucky that I wasn't shunted out into traffic. Now, the other very recent incident we'll show you and discuss in a second, where I almost got caught out, and it's all too common a situation that a lot of riders become victim to every day and I'd also like to point out that I pride myself on the fact that I have very few near misses so this one really annoyed me because I missed the signs I'd normally see and maybe didn't quite position myself as well as I could have. Again apologies for what my mate Cloudmaker calls industrial language. Talking about this, fucking hellfire. You fucking useless bitch. Proof right there that, like most of you, I'm human and not immune to the odd idiot breaching my defences. So, with that in mind, let's look a little deeper into what occurred because. There's a lot to learn from this. We need to look at what clues I missed, what I could have done better, and actually, in fact, also look at how I reacted afterwards. We've all heard of the domino effect, where something happens that sets off a chain of events. This is an analogy I use when I'm on the bike. A domino in my mind when I'm riding can be anything that might affect my progress and safe passage. A series of what-ifs, the constant evaluation of every potential hazard. What if that bus sets off from the bus stop? And if it edges out, how does it affect the next vehicle just behind it? And will that vehicle then cause me harm? That's the domino effect. Or that pedestrian walking along a footpath towards a crossing. Are they going to press the button? And is that then going to cause the traffic lights to turn red? And if so, can all the vehicles near me stop without causing me any risk. So what I do is adjust my pace and create space. And if you create space for yourself, you're far less likely to have even an near miss, never mind a collision. In this incident, the domino that falls first is only subtle. You could say it's just the slowing traffic when the light was red. We had a piano accordion effect where all the cars squeezed up a little. This is quite normal as we know. And when the light went green we had the reverse effect however watch out for domino number two which was the left indicator on the grey Isuzu Ute on this occasion I missed it and therefore I didn't consider the knock-on effect it could have could have say for example on the actions of the lady driving the orange Corolla because she didn't think it was a situation where she had to slow down and let it turn before moving along in the lane she was already in. She had, in her mind, another option, which was, of course, to very suddenly jump across into the lane I was in. 
if she indicated to swap lanes, it certainly wasn't a fair enough warning of what her intentions were. Can you see her indicate? Mrs. Ryder Guide has spotted a light on her mirror, but thinks it was actually a blind spot indicator warning light. The question is, though, could I have avoided this incident altogether? See, there's two issues here. One, I'd actually failed to adjust my pace and create space. I ended up, arguably, in her blind spot. Not that I think it would have made the slightest bit of difference. She was changing lanes regardless. Her actions were that quick, she can't have even glanced in the mirror. Two, if I had seen that grey you indicate, I'd have had the opportunity to consider the potential domino effect. Yes, I might have been able to avoid the whole incident happening altogether. On her part, it was a rash manoeuvre, but one as a motorcyclist we need to be ready for. Now let's quickly look at what happened after. I freely admit I also allowed the situation to negatively affect my riding standards for a short while afterwards. I'm usually very calm, regardless of what happens compared to when I'm driving the car. Generally, when I'm in the car, I have a different, much less patient persona for some reason. I don't know why that is. I'm just generally far less annoyed at stuff like this when I'm on two wheels. However, today, you'll see me riding afterwards too close to that trail in front. Still riding along. I've got no view around it and I've got steam coming out of my ears. And this isn't good. We try, or we need to try, to keep focused on the now rather wow. than allow our normal decent riding standards to lower just because someone did something beforehand that, that caused us danger. Keep yourself in the right frame of mind. Riding off angry, it's just a recipe for another incident and potentially injury or worse. So that's it for this one. Please comment, like or subscribe and subscribe. And also you can support the channel from anywhere in the world through buy me a coffee there's a link in the description and on my channel homepage and if you're in Australia you can also hit me up for a top quality rider guider baseball cap these are $34 free postage in Australia but sadly again unable to send overseas from here because of the ridiculous postage costs so again if you're down under drop me an email for a hat at the rider guider at gmail.com and I'll sort you out legends all thanks for watching I'm Neil. See you on the next one.